not just my hard work, because I work hard. I practice every day for three hours still, every single day. It's not just that, there's more to it. There's the, the timing of things, then there's the intangibles of why does a melody sound good to me? And why does the melody that sounds good to me also sound good to most of the world? Why? Very lucky that that just seems to be that way. People tell me that they take their mu my music into their very private moments of their life, not just in the bedroom. I'm not just talking about that, although I hear a lot of that. But I mean, uh, my dad and I really appreciated your music in the car. He passed away. You know, your songs mean a lot to me. I hear that a lot. So a lullaby album would be like, because you know that it's the word lullaby, you'll probably take it and go, well, I'm going to play it with my kids. And maybe it'll be kids that are 20, 30 years old kids and you share a melody with them. So I think it was more about making something that people could uh, share in their family and intimate uh, moments where they connect with other people that are really important to them. Now, I'm already accused of putting people to sleep with my music, so the last thing I want to do is play lullabies during my concert. Now, the, the, the whole audience will be asleep. I'll, I'll take a nap, probably, at some point during my show. It's much more up-tempo and much more high energy than you would imagine. People, when they come to my concerts, I know from what I've heard from feedback, they didn't expect it to be so energetic. They didn't expect to be so uplifted, and, and so that's, that's, I'm proud of that.